Okay, on this screencast we're going to talk about adding and subtracting integers, which seems like a pretty basic thing, and it is, but uh, the basic rules for this are extremely important, and when it comes to algebra and applying them to things, uh, uh, other parts of math, so we need to make sure we've got this nailed down, the basic rules for this. Uh, adding and subtracting, we're not going to use the number line, we could use the number line, but I'm going to skip that part for the sake of time and go straight to the, the note here at the top there. Note, before you do anything else, reduce multiple signs together into one sign. So what that's talking about, if I write at the top here, if we just put something like um, 17 uh, minus, say, negative 10, what happens here is I've got two signs, and they're together in the middle between the two numbers. If I have signs that are together between the two numbers, like these two signs, I need to reduce them to one sign. And so uh, if the signs are the same sign, okay, so we just make sure we, we put that little rule down here that, uh, let's just pull this over so we got more room here. So if it's the same sign, okay, then what happens is they become one positive sign. If the signs are, the two signs are different, it becomes one negative sign. They're supposed to reduce to a negative sign. Similar to, to rules of multiplication, but this is not multiplication, okay? Just want to get confused with that. So it says here, um, rule one, when both integers have the same sign, sign in front of them, then the answer will be the two values added together with the sign being the, s the same as the two integers. So here we have 17 plus 8. Those both are, po this is a positive 17, that's a positive 8. And so put those together, I add them together, I get 25 as a positive 25 because they're both positive. Two positives make a bigger positive. Second example here, I've got negative six, minus nine. Both of those are negative. They have minuses in front of them, each of them. So we're going to, because they have the same sign, we add them together. Six plus nine is 15. And the sign of the answer is the same as the signs of the numbers. So I put negative 15. So uh, two negatives, one, a number minus another number will we just add them together to get a bigger negative number. And that makes sense. If I go six degrees below zero and I, the temperature goes nine degrees lower than that, then I basically be get to n minus 15 degrees below zero. So uh, I think practically speaking, it makes sense. Okay, rule number two. Let's move right on to rule number two here. When integers have different signs, then the answer will be the value of the smaller number subtracted, subtracted, a little run out of room here, subtracted from the larger number with the sign being the same as the sign of the larger number. So let's get a couple examples here. I got negative 19 plus 4. Those have different signs. One's a negative number, one's a positive number. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to subtract them from each other because they're different signs. I subtract them, I get 15, and the sign on the 15 is the sign of the bigger number. Now which number is bigger? Is nine, is is the integer 19 bigger than number 4? Yes, it is. So the 19 is negative, so I put a negative in front of the 15, because the bigger number there is negative. Let's look at the next example. Here we've got uh, negative 11 minus negative 21. Here I have two signs. Let's circle those two signs together. Now, are they the same or are they different? If they're the same, then it becomes one positive sign. Okay, if they're both positives, it becomes one positive. If they're both negative, it becomes one positive sign. Let's reduce the number of signs to make it simpler. Okay, so our new question then becomes negative 11 plus 12. Or sorry, 12, not 12, 21. Got those digits reversed. Let's just fix that up real quick. Okay, so plus 
21. Okay, so we do, they're different signs. One's negative, one's positive. We subtract them. 21 minus 11 gives me 10. And the bigger number is positive. So it's positive 10. I don't need to put a positive there. It just, by not having a sign, it, it, we assume that it must be positive. Okay, let's look at the ex next example here. We've got a couple examples at the bottom of the, towards the bottom of the page here. Move those up. And let's do this quickly. So we've got two signs. Here we go. Those two signs are different. Therefore, it becomes a minus sign. So we get, we get 5 minus 11. The 5 is positive. The 11 is negative. So I subtract them. And I get 6. And the bigger number is negative. So it's negative 6 is the answer. Next question. Two signs again. These are the same this time, so it becomes a positive here. Uh, the, the question becomes 4 plus 9. Both are positive. Add them together. Get 13. And uh, the answer is 13 because they're both positive. Make a bigger positive. Next one, number 3. Move quickly here. Uh, I have 2. There's no, there's no du duplicative signs. There's no double signs anywhere between the numbers. So I got negative 11 minus 7. Both are negative. So add them together get 18, and they're both negative, so they make a bigger negative. Negative 11 minus 7 more gives you negative 18. Uh, number 4, keep moving here. Those two signs are different. They're together between the two numbers. They're different, and so they become a minus sign, which gives me 14 minus, as an 8 there, minus 8, and I end up getting 6 as my answer. 14 minus 8 is 6. Positive 6, 14 is bigger than 8. Uh, okay, which brings us to the last two examples here. And these get a little bit more tricky. I've got, uh, let's look at the question first. Look for double signs. There's a double sign right there. Two negative signs, which becomes a plus. So it gives me negative 5 plus 11 plus 4. So let's do the first, first steps first. Let's do this part first. Okay, negative 5 plus 11. So the different signs, you subtract them, you get 6. And 11 is bigger than 5, it's positive, so we just leave it as positive 6. Now I have to add the 4. Bring that down. 6 plus 4 is 10, so 10 is the final answer. Positive 10. Next question, last one, do this one quickly as well. We'll just change color here. Okay, look for double signs. Here's double signs right here, a plus and a minus. Make that into either difference, comes a minus. Anything else here? Yes, there's a double sign here. Now, you, this is all plus and subtract. If it was the multiply in here, I wouldn't do this first. I'd do the multiplication first, but because of bed mass, right? Because this is all I didn't subtract, I do this first. Both these signs are the same. They're both negative, so it becomes a plus. And so my question becomes 12 minus 15 minus 6 plus 9. Okay, so let's do the first things first. We've got, we've got rid of the double signs. Now let's uh, take and do the first thing first. 12 minus 15 is, subtract them because they're different signs, you get 3. And the bigger number is negative, so it's negative 3. Now I'm going to bring down the next, bring down this one, minus 6. Negative 3 minus 6 is going to be, they're both the same sign, so you add them together, you get 9, and they're both negatives, comes to just a larger negative, but not, uh, minus 9. And now I'm going to bring down the last thing, bring down the plus 9, and I get plus 9, negative 9 plus 9, the opposite sign, so you subtract them, 9 minus 9 is 0, so 0 is our final answer. And I hope that is a good refresher on how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers.